Okay, the first step uh, of making the zero clearance insert, I will try to make two out of this board. It's a very, very hard wood, very heavy and dense. I already established that this is flat, so let's clean it up on the thickness planer. This board is relatively straight, but long fence helps it. Okay, very nice cut. You can see how dense this wood is. It's really like, even on the end grain, it looks slippery. The grain is also very straight, which I like because it will the wood will keep straight and it won't be warping and twisting. Okay, so we are getting very close. As you can see, and I am going to run it to the thickness planer. Okay, so now we have two pieces which are identical, so now I'm going to trim the length. And here is our stop block, and mini clamp to tighten the material. around these corners okay i'm going to test it on the table again so just going to ease the edges and corners to sneak fit. Okay, this one is better. Almost perfect on the right side. After filing to perfection, I think it should be fine. Yep. Okay, very happy with that one. Okay, now we are going to move the fence over the blank the blade is on this side so i want the fence to hold the blank so everything is ready now we are going to raise the blade Looks good. So here is my 
zero clearance insert. So now I'm going to cut the remaining part for the splitter. And we are going to cut, we are going to extend the slot to the end. And let's go. Now it's looking very <laughs> flimsy, but as I glue the splitters in, it will become rigid again. 2.7 mm. So here are the splitters. I measured they are 2.7 millimeters. Let's glue it up. I already glued the splitters in place and I used this wooden clamp to clamp two pieces at the same time. You can see the splitters are here. The, the two blanks are back to back and the pressure is here. I added the horizontal bar to keep them in one plane. So I'm going to leave it to dry overnight and tomorrow we can finish it with the boiled linseed oil and test it. So 24 hours later. Okay, there you have it. Uh, this is the taller one. This is the shorter one. There is some flex to the mid section but I think it should be fine so the next step will be doing some test cuts and then I will fill this void and this void with the epoxy to make it more rigid okay let's test the splitter after some fine tuning Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so let's measure the results. Thirteen point zero, thirteen point zero. Thirteen point zero six, so it's perfect with a tolerance of zero point zero five millimeter. I'm very happy with that. Okay, I'm preparing the epoxy resin. I added some dye to match the wood. After stirring it for three minutes, the consistency is quite good. So we are going to leave it now for 24 hours and hopefully tomorrow it will be nice and cured and then we will clean it up and the zero clearance inserts will be much stronger. Let's clean it up after gluing it with epoxy resin. Okay, here is the sanded insert, zero clearance insert. We 
it really looks beautiful i hope it shows on the camera okay there you have it beautiful result so i'm going to put another three coats of boiled linseed oil but uh, i don't need to record it so this will conclude this video i'm very very happy with the results uh, you can see it turned out really really well okay <laughs> thank you so much for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe to tiger carpenter and see you again in the next video bye bye